10 tips and tricks to mastering Premiere Pro, let's go. Tip number one is ripple deleting. To ripple delete, simply select the empty bar in between the two clips and click shift plus delete on Windows and alt delete on Mac. This comes in so handy as it's very simple and quick to use. To nest your clips, simply right click on your selected clip and select nest. Nesting is very helpful if you have several clips together that you want to put together and edit them all in one. To make an adjustment layer, select new item then click adjustment layer. Simply drag it onto your clips and then you can add whatever you want such as effects, transitions and much more. To speed up your footage, just right click on the clip you want to speed up and scroll until you see show clip keyframes and click on the time remap and then select speed. Then go to the left side of your screen and pull up the clip. Then just press and hold on the line and pull up or down depending on if you want it faster or slower. If you want to save your export in presets, once you've finished editing all of the options, simply click the three dots next to the preset tab and select save preset, then just name it to what you want. To create markers in your footage, go to a part where you think is important and click M on your keyboard while the clip is selected. Creating markers is very important for marking important parts that you might add something to later on. You can change your keyboard shortcuts by going to Premiere Pro then clicking on the keyboard shortcuts tab. Now you can just customise your own keyboard shortcuts to however fits your preference. You can also adjust the audio gain by right clicking on the selected audio clip and scrolling down to audio gain. From there you can adjust it to your liking. You can customise your own workspaces by going to window and then workspaces. There are workspaces built for certain editing. So to do advanced keyframing, go to your effect control panel and select a keyframe, then go forward a bit and select another one. After that, just select both of them and choose ease in. Now you see a line below it, pull the line where it goes highest in the middle. Then just select the last keyframe and zoom in a bit. The reason you make the line higher is because the higher it is, the faster the clip goes, so you want it to go from slow to fast, nice and smooth. That will be everything for this 10 tips and tricks for Premiere Pro beginners. Hopefully you learned something and I'll be making more advanced tutorials shortly.